week, which was about how many barrels of oil will one ounce of gold buy, which a few people have replied to and said that it was quite useful, um, especially if you're thinking about how to value a gold miner, because it's literally the output divided by the input energy divided by the amount of gold that you can dig out of the ground. So if anyone's seen my um, my title on the on the exchange, it says the person that makes charts that seem interesting two years later. So I'm going to show you another chart that I look at, which I've not seen other people post about. Um, and I'll try and explain it here. So this chart is the VVIX over VIX. Okay. So everyone knows the VIX is the fear index, the volatility of the S&P 500. Okay, now if you've followed any of my gold posts, I make my own vol charts, but I also do vol of vol. Okay, and the volatility of volatility is, or at least for the S&P 500, is the VVIX. So this is the volatility of the VIX. Uh, just you know, to show people this is on trading view, um, but there are other volatility indexes that you can find on here. You've got RVX, which is the Russell 2000 vol. You have VXN, which is NASDAQ vol, uh, GVZ, Z or Z, whatever, which is gold vol, OVX, that's oil volatility. So in March, if you thought that 80 vol, 80 VIX was high, this was 21st of April, this was huge sell-off in oil, minus $40 oil day. So the VIX of oil got to over 500. Just for, <laughs> just for comparison. Um, but on here you can also do, um, let me think, VX GDX. That's the vol of the gold miners ETF. Uh, VX APL is the vol of Apple. This period going through here through August was the whole question marks being raised about uh, Robin Hood and all that sort of thing. And that was um, the price going up and vol going up. So individual stock vols are here on Apple got up into the high 70s while the price was going up, which that's the correlation for that is normally the opposite. As vol rises, the price is going down. Um, but actually we kind of see this period here. It's, Apple needs to, or well, all the big five, all the big fangs, you know, need to kind of, we need to figure out where they're going. Because at the minute, all the, what, what was, <laughs> what for the rest of the year has been crap i.e. bank stocks, oil stocks, small caps, they're all going up while the, the FANGs and the NASDAQ are all going at best sideways, sideways to down. Um, yeah, but you can find others on here and I can list, I'll list a few in the post so people can find it. Uh, basically, if you put VX in, it will come up. So you can VX SLVs, Silver ETF, TLT, EEM. Uh, yeah, so you can find some more on here. There's Amazon, stuff like that. Most of the big ones you'll be able to find on here. Just put VX in and most of them are here. Eurostock 50. Yeah, anyway, so. Um, if you remember recently, we've had the big breakout in the US 10 year. And there's been lots of posts and there's been videos and Raul's put out a lot recently, the last few weeks, you know, the reflation trade is the reflation trade consensus. And I put out a rebuttal against that. I don't think it is. Um, I, I made a video and sort of showed the exchange uh, trading game that's going on with 10 of us. They had no reflation trades in there. Very few reflation trades in there. Uh, they were still long bonds, long bonds, long the dollar, etc. you know, um, and even the CFTC data doesn't really show, yes, yes, it's big, big long positions in certain uh, reflation trades, but certainly not in all. Um, so anyway, this is, you know, this is a breakout. And what I wanted to show you was, is this going to break out? 
So this is V oops. So this is VVIX over VIX. This let's just go here. So this big sell off here. That was Volmageddon. Okay, so the price go well price price, but the, the number going down is vol rising, vol expanding in both, i.e. how many VIXs can you fit inside the VVIX? Okay, so we could only fit three and a half there. We could only fit, what's this? This is the end of December, so this through here, October, all the way down into Christmas Eve 2018. That was the big sell-off final quarter of 2018. Uh, this is going all the way through, so this is, although this is going up, this is falling volatility. You could fit more VIXs inside the VVIX, so that's bullish. Um, bullish for equities. Bullish, this is risk on here. That's a better way to term it. Let's, let's talk about that. This is risk on. Down here, this is risk off. Um, so this was going all the way through 2019, coming into January. Uh, so this was the big sell-off into March. So you could only fit two VIXs inside the VIX, VIX. So this was when Vol was at 80. And then we've been this whole uh, rally in the equity markets coming through. Then we had September, October, the kind of decision time, what was going on. And the start of November here, this is where, if you look at charts, this was the big breakouts and things like IWM, so small caps, value got a bid. And then we've been kind of stuck here, this kind of five level. You know, there's no technical, I don't do technical analysis. Um, this is just you know, roughly where things got down to and where things go up to. And I've just drawn a box there, simple. Okay, so if we can say that above here is risk on and below here is risk off and we spend very little time in it, we tend to come under and then go straight back up again. Just like the US 10 year broke out, it was stuck around 1% and then broke out recently. What will it mean if this breaks out? That's super bullish <laughs> if if we're already reaching all-time highs apart from friday um, prior to friday we had a big sell-off if if this breaks out above here that's super bullish and that's my question um i, put, I actually made this reply on twitter uh, this afternoon to wayne himmelstein and i hashtagged it with are you long enough which i've stolen and i'm going to admit it i stole it from keith mccoa from hedge eye are you long enough? Raul has posted saying that he thinks the inflation trade is overdone. Um, I think my question would be, are you long enough? Not of everything, not of everything. You have to be selective. But there's a chance that, especially because of right, right now, um, Janet Yellen's given her first speech as the head of the Treasury. If she is as dovish as people think she's going to be, take away your politics and everything like that. If she's going to be as dovish as they think she's going to be, the dollar is going to fall. I think. That's positive. You look at all the, the stuff that I post on correlations and short and long-term correlations and why they matter, why you have to look at them differently. Um... It could cause a breakout of here, so vol going lower, although it gets going up on the chart. It's going up on the chart, but that means vol is going lower. And that's super bullish, I think. I think the US 10 years broken out. I think this chart here is about to break out. Um, so I guess be careful. I mean, Ro has this long-term view of being of, of deflation and I get it I, I do <laughs> I agree with him I just think in the short term um, I think it's in reverse I don't think people are over positioned in reflation I don't think enough people are positioned at all in reflation um, 
So that's just my bit. I just thought I'd post it because uh, I was making up this chart and I posted about it on Twitter. So I thought I'd make a quick video. So again, I, I'm not telling people I'm just some dude with a laptop. So read into it what you will. I'm not trying to say this is this is what's going to be. I'm just highlighting as per my uh, my name on the exchange, the person of the person that makes charts that look important two years later. So maybe it won't be two years, maybe it'll be two months later. I know, and I'll post and say, hey, I told you so. Or, I, and I will, I admit often that I'm wrong. Maybe in two months time I'll say, hey, I was a dickhead. Everyone was right, Raul was right, and well done, everyone for following Raul. So there we go, have a good day.